Alright, morning to you ladies. My name is Assassin and welcome back to Urban Dissolution Urban Myth Dissolution It's a long name. <laughs> but yeah, we're back here and uh, I forgot where we left off. Alright, I think we gotta take a look at the chair. Hmm. Hey, there's a lid like thing under the seat part. If there's a clue to what the poison is, we could find an antidote. Yeah, uh, it's not coming off. I tried to pull it as hard as I could. And we can't go. I did it. What? I break it. I broke the chair. Miss Azumi. I did it, Director Sun. Now we find out what the poison is in. This is rather inconvenient. Although the cursed chair itself, itself is real, the poison actually no longer has any effect. To think you would outright demolish it. Wait, you knew this all along? I thought I was going to die from the poison. Yet now your demolishing the chair has changed things rather drastically. Imagine that, a visitor destroying a, the cursed chair. Uh... We will need to cover the repair bill. What? I'm so sorry. Wait, so you're telling me to get rid of the curse, all they needed to do was destroy the chair in the first damn place? We had borrowed it for studying. We'll need to restore it. The fee should be around 10 million... 10 million yen? Wait, that's totally... You said 10 million? I do admit, being careless on our end, so about your earlier request, how about you work for us as an investigator and cover the fees with your wages? But, uh, you're, uh, Once the repairs are covered, we can start working on those troubles of yours. It's a lot of fucking cash, I mean, yeah. God, I'm fucking gonna go bankrupt, shit! I mean, huh? 10 million is no problem, boss. Your special power, clairvoyance, will benefit our investigation. We'll make sure to account for that in your wages. Please guide the urban myth dissolution set. Again, you guys really need to work on your, your like, name. Like, that, that's a long name for someone just, anyway. Investigation with your clairvoyance. But there's no way he do that. I'll just go... Phone number, uh, yeah. And you got me university's comp side third year. Street address. No, 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 that's my phone number. And why do you know about it? Uh, I told you I have power of vision myself. I can find you at any time and collect your debt. This is unreal, God. I should have come here and now I owe them a debt and it's gonna cost my soul. God, it's just like real life. I'm a crippling debt. Yet I prefer welcoming you in rather than pressuring you. Oh my, I'm... Uh, I'm really sorry for the damage, I'll do what I can. Uh, why is this happening? Also, you might want to use this. Huh? Eh? Hey, Gerald, what the fuck is in here? Yes, for my keeping notes on your investigation. Go on, take a look. Okay. It's not gonna have porn, is it? Oh, it's a picture of me. That's kind of creepy. Is this the right page? Many incidents involve complex interpersonal relations. You'll want to note down characteristics and relationships for the people you meet. Is this work orientation already? Please try taking notes while we're at it. Mm, about what? How about notes on me to begin with? I I see. Oh god, I'm going into my mind. Hmm. The director's character resist or characteristic. He's an asshole. He has me in debt, and I'm pretty sure he wants to kill me. Some kind of power to similar to mine. What was it? Management skills. Vision. Yes, his vision. A power that shows him everything. Because of that power, I somehow ended up working here. 
Azumi Fukari, Fukari, Fukari. A university student when unlucky tendency to get in trouble. Aww. Pressed by the ghostly figures that haunt the edge of her vision. When seeking the urban myth dissolution center's help, hoping for a cure for these visions, but vandalized the cursed chair and picked up some hefty debt. Agreed to work at the center as a field of rescue to help her pay. No, more was forced to be here, otherwise you'd find me and kill me. Am I gonna have like some soup? Like, there's gonna be a thing where it's like my power is actually stronger than his. Like, I have a hidden power, and that's why you want to keep me here. Uh, I um, I can pronounce that. The vision allows the Urban Myth Dissolution Center director, Jesus Christ. Could you put any more words in there? <laughs> To see everything from a distance. Knew about my clairvoyance power. Gave me a pair of glasses. I can see finally. And gave me this journal, but also pressured me to pay back my debt in a passive aggressive way. Kind of scared. You have your journal now? How about we take a quick break? A quick break? No breaking chairs on my wheel this time? First of all, we're going to brief you on the basics about the Urban Myth Dissolution Center. Uh, okay, long fucking name. What are urban myths anyway? Jesus Christ! Um, I can't read all that. You're going too fast. Urban has a singular. Hey, fucking fast. One hour later. <laughs> and that's just a quick overview. Shit. Can you repeat that very slowly? You should now have a minimal required knowledge to be able to proceed process urban myth. So, uh, some of it see it in my memory like the passion in your eyes and your voice. Her <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Whenever in doubt in the field, your memory of me should prove helpful. Fucking face is so creepy. I've only scratched the surface, but in due time. Well then, let's get you started on the investigation. Like right now? Yes, indeed. You should be perfect for this case. Huh? This request is about curbing the damage behind caused by the air. A certain urban myth. Jasmine, whom you will have met upstairs, handles on our on-site investigation. The lady with the hair bun? She skill sets vary from person to person. She tends to get bored with the, the finer details. You should be a much stronger match with the investigation needs. Oh, okay. Ki or, kindly find Jasmine up top and ask her to brief you. He already has an overview for this case. I, I see. All set, Miss Azumi. It's a pleasure to be working with you. Hey, right, 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 yes. Yeah. Alright. Hello. I don't even have to move. Okay. Hi. Alright. Hey. I think, I thank you for earlier. Let me introduce myself. Hi. Yeah, not interested. Just heard from the boss man. Azumi Fukurui, yeah, let me think. Sammy. Sammy? Yuzumi Tomagari guy go by this Jasmine. Yuzumi Jasmine, got it. Yuzumi Jas, I guess, sir. What? I understood, Jasmine. You're an on site investigator for Urban Myth, too? So that's all to you. I just drive around and deal. Seriously? Director again? Uh huh. Stop the damage from an urban myth. Mm -hmm. And I need to teach you how to do social media research as well. What? Why me? Anyway, get in. We'll talk on the way. Understood. Hey, Ben. Totally not inconspicuous. Hi, sir. Whoever you might be. Maybe you're a killer. Okay, cool. Uh, this is not in my 
job description. I'm sorry. Nah, no, it's okay. Again, this time boss man making others do all the work. Anyway, about this social media, media, social media research business. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. So the reason we look and things up and is tracking rumors and such. Tracking rumors? Checking for rumors that hint at urban myths around posts that stand out. Any comments that might spread rumors in questionable ways. That's basically what social media research is for. Tracking rumors, social media research. While well, taking notes, huh? Go on and give it a try, I'll back you up. Understood, thank you very much, Admin. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Five minutes, no say. Go fuck yourself. Uh, it all started from this Ico person's account. For starters, check how far the rumor is spreading. How far is spreading? And all urban myths come from rumors. Gotta cut the core first. Do you think you'd be able to choose the post and read them to me? I'll be able to comment at least. I should just read out each and every post. Anyway, sorry for tracking down this first of the info. Pinpoint claims from anomaly sighting. Understood. What? <laughs> Guys, some weird dude showed up at Mayo's place, tried to attack her. We called the police, but they're really not helping much. Uh, I, uh, it's blowing up. I wonder why this is trending so much. It's a content for sure, but maybe also my channel is done. What's up? You're burning a hole through that thing. This, this photo looks familiar for some reason. Could just be your mind playing tricks on you. Thanks. Terrifying enough. Okay. Got an update. Wait, I got more. I was scared, but I managed to stop it. Jasmine, you should look at this. Whoa, would you look at that? Is that a ghost? No, dumbass. It's a, a robber. I don't know. <laughs> no idea if Rosman would be thrilled if it is. Okay. When he's useless police, they don't understand what it's like to be a victim at all. Huh? It's like a roster cop. Oh. I've also been threatened horribly by the police. Wish, uh, I wish they would be more passionate about their work. Flame war going on between police supporters and otherwise. Not directly related, so just keep scrolling. Are you okay? You should just call the authorities. What kind of comment? Uh-huh. The police are just there to put on a circle for the uses. The things that people say. Is that a guy? That's just horrible. Imagine something like this showed up in my room. If it's, a, if it's got a physical form, you can kick it down. Nah. Uh, this is just an uh, influencer echo that's what you're chasing for clown. Yeah! What's that person <laughs> Is this all the setup? I don't know. The false report stop wasting police resources. If it is, I'll shut up here. I can't unsee the billboard in the window ball. Man. Something wrong? The sign showing through the window. Unique landmark. You're trending, Lamau. Bro, these are some amazing comments. I get why some posts fall off, but others not so much. Flames and ammo from all over. Focus here and way wider than we thunk. Can we thunk? Find the place just so you can go viral by calling them useless people who do this stuff in the name of entertainment or anything. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Hmm? Well, the tone is kind of annoying. <laughs> Why is it trending? I don't know. After any, th any trending comment, it's this stuff. <laughs> You're mocking the police under under fake pretense, and it's the police 
you're calling Nusa. Fake news? That's what they need to go find out for an hour. Keep tracking the rumors. What even is uh, what is even entertaining about this? Were you raised in a barn? I'm pretty sure they were raised in a house. Raised in a. Hey, just gonna hate. <laughs> Moving on. Mm-hmm. He's gonna hate. Uh, I can't believe you'd call the police for a bit. The police aren't here for just for you. These arguments aren't all related to the weirder or weird intruder himself. That's cool. Alright, that's terrifying. Cool that the post is gaining traction and all. But did anyone tell the police? Oh. Okay. You think calling the police is the best thing to do? Why does she have to post about it? We don't know for sure or yet if she did really call the cops. Not that the cops would buy your story about ghosts showing up. Gives me the creeps that there are so many unreported cases. Not even just unsolved cases out there in the world. So we're actually doing some good for everyone? I wouldn't have guessed from our director's bullshit, I mean antics. Hello, I'm contacting you on the behalf of Trending Social News. Can we okay to use your post on our website? Articles like these, do they cover them as actual incidents? <laughs> Or as features on spooky stories or something. Who knows? Does this mean a suspicious man was breaking and entering uh, Milo's or M Mio, or however you say it, their name? Girl's place or was he there from the start? I suppose it's scary either way. Gotta check on site. How many fucking posts do I gotta go through? I think I found the killer. Or that's just someone with a very creepy, like, smiley face fucking profile picture. Uh, the photo of the police and the photo of the guy were taken on different days. Huh? No evidence, ignore it. Never mind, he's not creepy. I mean, he is, but he's not. Suppose it's spreading like wildfire. Is it okay to leave the photo up like that? That sign through the window shouldn't take it. It's gonna take them long. These windows and bookshelves. They kind of remind me of a friend's book. You guys found her way too quick. Wait, wait. Sounds ominous. Not from faster than quick. Wait, seriously, Bo? Any replies to this post? Probably under this one. Don't you think you can get the info out of me that easily? I would never tell. For a Mio place is all oh, no my hands with well M Mio could that be you know her? She might be someone I know. Oh hey What? Cut out the sudden scream. Some of the letters seem to be moving, though I can't see clearly. Maybe I should look through the glasses. You can see the letters are moving? Through the whatever. What's going on? The letters are popping out. Huh? Say what? The letters! Mio's place are popping out of the screen. No idea what you mean. <laughs> Is that fucking like fun and like gamers being able to see highlighted text? <laughs> uh... Is it because you want to search for Mio's place? Searching, yes. Good idea. Where and how would I do that? See the search bar near the top? Pick the search terms from there. Yes. Recap time. Search around for search keywords and important information. Pick the search terms from the search box. Also check new posts in the timeline that's pronounced from the search box. That's social research in a nutshell, okay? Okay, I'll try to like the search key. Okay. Yeah. Wow, results found! Wow, docs? Damn. Oh no, I think this really is me. So it is your friend. I think so. Think so is not enough to go on. What are you talking about? It totally is. Was this just the rumors and things? I thought this place used to be a prison. You mean this place has a history? Boss man loves this kind of mess, I bet. Search and track, might find something juicy. Oh, okay, sure thing. These letters look like they might 
jiggle around as well. Should I check with my glasses? Should I check the jiggly letters? Wait here, I know that I'm playing. I don't know what to do. I'm nervous about people with random related knowledge sharing them. <laughs> I'm rather, I'm nervous with people with knowledge on those places. At this point, they're just digging into secrets messed up me. Wow, that's just, wow, whoa, that's insane, uh -huh. Every shirt turns up in a apartment called Mason Naka, Naka Machi. Who? What is this? There's an apartment name. This is definitely my friend's place. Hmm, your very first case of all someone you know. Not the luckiest for sure in town, are you? The director told me it'd be good for this case. That's why it was assigned to me. Oh, I didn't even need to search it. This is terrible, she's my friend. So we're heading to your friend's place, yeah? Lead the way. E yes. Wow. So how's it looking? But if it's to save a friend, with your help, the investigation feels doable. Remember, I just drive you around. Oh, of course. I'll be quick on the, on the pickups and back you up. You get the handles of like work. Like work, I'm on it. Oh. Meal. Wow. So this is the docs girl's place. First thing we need to do is identify which urban myth is involved in this case. Once it's identified, we'll know the cause and can counter it. Identify or identifying the urban myth first. So far, the anomaly is unknown. We don't know the motive either. Or, sorry, I don't know why I was doing her voice. So go say hi to those two and talk to them. And check out the room and collect some info. Say hello first. And investigate the room. Noted. Oh, okay. You talking about you? She following me? Oh, that's cool. Or maybe she's observe. Tons of books and trinkets on the shelf. Online shopping boxes piled up on top. Take a peek. <laughs> boxes of clothing and luggage, not much space. Maybe room for one person. One sec, I'll talk to you in a sec. I'm investigating. We can see the billboards on the building across the street. First floor here. Yeah. Azumi Fukuru 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 I can't say the fucking name. Miles friend. We are here from the Urban Myth Dissolution Center to investigate the second case. I don't think you should go around mentioning you're part of a bus Ghostbusters like thing. Thank you for having us. You're her friend? Didn't know. Mio said she, she'd found a detective agency for anomalies. But I'd had doubts you existed until you showed up. But anyway, the police aren't doing much, so I guess we'll cooperate. cooperate. Please help Mio, she needs it. About the, oh god, there's a, there's a player in that. Uh, sorry about this one. Is it okay if I call you aiko -san? Of course, Mio calls me Aiko's son, too. Talk to me casually, like friend. Ah, oh, thank you. Can you tell me your age and profession? <laughs> you sound like the police. Aiko Shi Shi... Aiko Shi Mizu 29. I work as a sort of job hunting consultant, bridging students and companies. Also, temp staff coordination, leveraging all those connections. You're an entrepreneur? I guess you're a Gami Yu too. Gami Yu? Yes, I'm a third year computer science major at Ying Yu Gami University. We're a schoolmates, how lovely to hear. I think we'll have plenty to talk about. Yes. Relationship with Mayo. Can I ask you about your relationship with Mayo? Miles in, or Miles in 
Okay, since he's human sociologist and seminar. Jesus fucking Christ. Right? <laughs> I studied under Prof. Oki too, so meal in my seminar Kohai. I'm working as a job hunting consultant, so Oki Sensei introduced me to Mio. I keep going between Mayo and Mio because I don't know how it's pronounced. I've been helping her and we grew closer as friends. I see, that's why you knew each other. I'm happy to meet someone from my alma mater. Feel free to call me if you ever need help or need a, need a helping hand. About the incident? About this incident. Please tell me what is what is that you saw? Last night I was talking with Mio and lost track of the time. She agreed to let me stay over so we set up at cushions on the rug. You were going to sleep on the floor? Yes, it's Mio's home, so I wasn't going to steal her bed, was I? The moment we turned off the lights to sleep, I felt a presence in the room that wasn't us. The moment you turned off the lights, were they hiding until then? I think Mayo was still unaware at that point. Mayo and I tried to leave the room without turning the lights back on. We made it out of the door somehow. I told Mayo to run to the police as there was someone in that room. Could you tell me in detail about what you saw in this room? In detail, let me see. The time was just before midnight or so. I was so scared I didn't get a good look, but it didn't look human. When I was closing the door, the shadow loomed up as if from the floor. If we were a moment too late, I couldn't imagine where I'd be. A shadow that didn't look human. That shadow must be the anomaly then. But where did it appear from? That's so unclear. I should note this down too. The shadow that appears. When is the post photo or whatever? This is the photo of the shadowy monster. It looks like a man somewhat. Terrifying, isn't it? Did you turn around and take this as you ran away? I was way too scared for that. Mio ran for the cops and I opened the door just a bit and quickly took a pic. <laughs> I wanted to post this sick pic on Instagram and see how many likes I could get. But once I did, the guy disappeared. Disappeared just like that? More or less. He was gone before I knew it. I see. Duly noted. Thank you for your help. Wow. Hey, yeah, she didn't know shit. Sup? <laughs> About the relegation. Catsman, how do you go about investigation on site? Usually, ask those who encountered anomalies about what they saw and things like that. No please, and you start to see the rough shape of the urban myth. The shape of the urban myth? Who saw what, when, and how, and all that. You start to get what the urban myth is about. Hmm. And then you suddenly get a call from the boss man. I guess it's be or I guess it's because of how his see all vision or whatever, yeah. Wow. With that vision washing everywhere I go. So fucking creepy. You okay or what? Basically you're on site I gather clues and boss man knows. So your job here is to dig up info on the case. That's all there is to it. Oh, okay. Edmund, how long have you worked here? Six months, not even actually. What exactly does the Urban Myth Solutions Center do? And why does it have such a long fucking name? <laughs> Don't know really. We just look into rumors. If it's paranormal related, we figure out well, what's up. Who would actually ask you to do this? National or local government, also university and research organization. This case here is probably the boss man just spotting a rumor and taking interest. Are you okay, Mia? Ezebi, why are you here? And why did I give you the same fucking voice, basically? Uh, about the end, uh, about Mia, sure. Mia, which facility are you studying again? Or, to fuck, I, I'm getting your fucking shit! 
whatever. I'm keeping notes on this case and would like to ask you a few questions. Yes, of course. Mia Sata, 30 or 23. Oh no, you're not that old, not 33 years old. In you, you have me university, human, social, authority. Yeah, we already know this. He's never coming. After a certain turn of events, I'm working part time at the Urban Myth Desolate Center. I'm also in crippling debt and if I don't do this job and work for the guy, he'll find me and kill me. I couldn't believe it when I heard you were in the client. Same here. But why the police didn't help you? They listened to me at the police station came to check my room. But since nothing was stolen and they didn't find any leads, they did a quick search and then just left. That's terrible. So then you contacted the center? That's right. When I went to the police station, I saw a poster for the Urban Rift Desolation Center. That thing was so stupid, by the way. <laughs> I thought if anyone sees special investigators might believe us. Oh, I saw this same poster. You're investigating ghosts and such, right? I go senpai saw something, that's for sure. Listen, Azuma, I really need your help. Yeah, uh, sorry, I was gonna say it. I feel like any situation that involves ghosts, it called me crazy, but contacting the police, in my opinion, is the worst possible, like, you know, thing. Because, you know, people don't really believe in that. And, and if it turns out to be real, they'll just call you crazy. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can trust me. Hey, <laughs> Jesse, I'm your friend. You'll, you'll be okay, Mayo. I'm new on the job and not super sure of myself. But I'll help you in any way I can. I'm so glad you're fucked as well. <laughs> I mean, you're here to help. I feel much safer. Not really at all. I think you're just gonna do my song. I'm counting on you as a my, me. Yeah, I'm on it. And about the end. Uh, trending, trending is online. What then? What? Could you give me a rough idea of what happened? Okay, I'm still pretty confused though. Something suddenly appeared in my room. I didn't notice at first, but Aiko Senpai did. She helped me get out. Something suddenly appeared in your place? You'd lock the door, right? Yes, I'm always careful to check the door, so I'm sure. How could it get in? I'm so scared. But this is an intruder. Do you remember what that thing looked like? I don't know, we rushed out of the room, but I... I've also felt like I was being watched for a while now. Why? Where? Where is it? I'll hit it! <laughs> this is in the old apartment, so something may be out. I think may... Can I count on you to find out? <laughs> yes, I'll try. Shit, I'm so fucked. Um, I actually think I'm gonna end this episode here. I know we're, uh, we're just getting started and I'm a bit shorter. Um, but what's my call? I feel like this is a good, like, spot to end, end it. Uh, so, yeah, we're on to our first, like, uh, ghost, I, basically, I think, which is really cool. We're searching the case. Also, I probably should mention again that this is not uh, the full game. This is just the demo. And so far, it's it's really fun, actually. I really like it a lot. Um, I think it's supposed to be two hours long. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button in the face like a pirate. Also, if you want to see more videos that Assassin has made, click the invitation at the end. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video.